Talk about a bag, go get the money. Count the cash, then back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag, go get the bag. What's up, y'all? And welcome back to the channel. Those of y'all that are familiar with the channel, y'all know I'm probably I'm out on the road right now. I'm out here dashing. Um, for y'all that don't know what that is, I'm, I'm doing a DoorDash delivery service, getting a little bit of money. But I want to talk to y'all while I'm in here, while I'm in here dashing. And the thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is insurance. Different types of insurance. And when I when I say this, I'm speaking to everybody. I'm talking to all communities. I'm talking to all races, all nationalities, all that stuff. But um, I definitely I definitely want to reiterate this for the black community. So if you're in the black community, um, make sure you're focusing and paying attention on this. If you're not a part of the black community, this still this, this still is true for you. Um, it's just I, I've noticed that people in my community don't really know or aren't too aware of what I'm about to talk about. And it's just simple. Insurance. Insurance. What I've noticed is that a lot of people, especially in my community, consider insurance to be a scam. And I can understand that feeling. You're paying money, you don't have that, um, especially, like I said, in my community, where I'm from, which is kind of impoverished. You're, you're paying for insurance, car insurance, life insurance, all this different money you're spending out. You don't have that money, that much money, but you're paying out money for insurance. And I understand that you don't want to spend out the extra money understand it wholeheartedly but i just want to tell you guys i'm not saying go do it i'm not saying blow your money i'm just saying that if you can find a way to make a little bit of more income a little bit more cash flow insurance is a great way to protect yourself it's something that almost everybody needs and when i mean when i say insurance of course we need car insurance but we also need home insurance if you don't have a home we need renter's insurance. We need life insurance. I'm gonna start off with life insurance. In my community, I noticed that a lot of people pass away due to poor diets, poor decisions, things like that. I'm sure it happens in other communities too, but I see my community firsthand. A lot of times when these people, when these people are passing away, they don't have any insurance. So their family is left with nothing. The family is sad. As a matter of fact, a lot of times they have more bills. Let's say that person had a home or something. Those people have to now pay taxes. They have to take care of those bills that they didn't expect to take care of. A lot of times the homes get lost, different things happen. All because people don't have insurance. The reason that I'm making this video is because I was talking to a guy today. And um, I recently moved to a location. The location, some people wouldn't consider it to be the greatest location but it's not that bad in my opinion. I moved to this location and I, I saw a guy, I actually moved back to this location, I lived there before. And I saw a guy who noticed me from in the past and he was like, hey man, I remember you. I'm looking for a spot in this area too. You got another spot. How can I get here? And we were talking about ways that he can get back into the, uh, that he can stay in the neighborhood and all that stuff. And he brought up the fact that I um that someone had robbed me once time. Someone had broken into my house while I was at work in the past while I was staying there. And I told him, you know, I was like, yeah, that did happen. But it's what it, it wasn't as bad as you as you would think. Because I had insurance. Even even though, you know, some people were able to get some of my things, I had insurance. That wasn't the first time somebody had broken into my house. There was there was a time in the past that someone had broken into another place that I lived at. Hold on me. Stop this call right quick. There was a time that another person had broken to another place that I lived at and they stole a couple things and it was a complete loss for me. They heard it, it was, and, and, and that was an awful situation. But in that moment, and after that situation, I realized that I should have insurance. So what I um, started to do was to get renter's insurance. So when I moved into the place that the guy um, who I was speaking to, um, when I moved into that place, hold on one second, let me accept this dash. When I moved to that location and I was robbed for the second time, like I said, I know the location seems extremely bad, but uh, when I was robbed for the second time, my insurance actually replaced my thing. I had some gold, I had some chains and stuff like that that were taken. 
those things were actually re replaced and um game controller stuff for my business all of those things were, were replaced but the thing about it is i was my biggest worry at the time was like some of the gold and stuff was worth more than what i originally purchased it for would they replace all that stuff and um not all of it was replaced to the t due to due to the way that i kind of did the insurance certain things i should have did better because i um because I, I just didn't know at the moment but the majority of that stuff was was replaced um i was okay everything was replaced so the guy was telling me man I, I well i didn't know that you can get insurance i didn't know that uh you know what i'm saying you can get protected for that they'll break in over here all the time he was saying how the neighborhood had been having so many police in it because so many people had been breaking into people's cars and i was telling him i was like hey man you know what i'm saying i know that that's an issue but just to just to decrease the amount of worry that you have when it comes to that just get insurance and he was like man that's how much is that gonna cost and i was telling him well you know home insurance is probably like anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars a month and he was like that's it i, I could have been dead there but uh yeah my point with my whole purpose with that is different types of insurance stuff that we need to protect ourselves just in case stuff happens a lot of people in our community um don't have it aren't sure how much it costs um or don't even know where to get it from or don't even know it exists i just i'm just putting this video out to let you guys know that hey hey you should look into insurance you should look into um ways to protect yourself if something goes wrong um when bad things happen there are sometimes ways that you can make those bad things not so much of a bad thing not so much of a headache not so much of a worry and i just wanted to let you guys know that um insurance is one of the ways that you can do that so i hope, I hope this this video kind of kind of persuades you guys a little bit to um think more about getting insurance um depending on what you need to be protected i'm not saying put insurance on anything or go out and spend crazy amounts on insurance but make sure you have the things that you need protected protected make sure that you your family your kids or whatever you have going on is protected in the case of something that could negatively affect you especially if you know it's a possibility um go ahead and protect yourself against that with that being said i'm, I'm pulling up to my next dash location i do got to get this food out if you guys want to know more about DoorDash and all that good stuff, check out my videos, ways to make $10,000. One of those, my playlist, one of those videos talks about DoorDash and delivery services. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button so that, um, so that YouTube can send this video to other people. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more videos. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. How about a bag? Go get the money. Count the cash and back to the money. Put that on repeat.